Hello gorgeous female execs and managers. You might think that you can handle stress. You might think that your coping mechanisms are helping you to get through okay and that nobody else sees what's going on for you and that nobody else is there to help you through what's going on for you. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. Coping is not a fully functional, functioning way of living. So there are two types of stress. The first is eustress. It's spelled E-U-S-T-R-E-S-S, -S, a healthy type of stress. It's what we experience when we might be arranging to move house and juggling all of those things that we need to juggle and think about and plan for and perhaps a contingency plan that we need to put in place in case it rains on the day of the move and all of those sorts of things. You might also experience you stress when starting a new job and have some anxiety around how you might be perceived for your new team by your new team um, or by your manager and whether they are who they presented as being in the interview and all of those sorts of things that might happen for a very short burst of time. Um, commonly, you stress is quite helpful for people in high performance, such as athletes, for instance, or people who need to get through, a, let's say, a presentation of some sort when they're not used to publicly speaking. Um, so it can be quite good to boost performance. Distress is the opposite. Distress is the common stress that we experience over long periods of time when we're running ourselves into the ground, we're not sleeping well, we're not eating well, we're not functioning well. Um, in terms of our bodily functions. We're not taking in enough water and we're not resting and replenishing ourselves appropriately. And then of course, what happens over time is the body starts to break down and it leads to chronic illness. Some of the more um, obvious traits, if you like, of someone under chronic, uh, under dis distress are things like memory loss, um, lack of coherence, inability to perform basic tasks. So if you recognize any of these things in yourself, then it's probably a clue, an identifier that you've been sustaining stress, distress for far too long. I remember when I was in a new job as an office manager, um, I was in charge of sorting out the, the accounts of the, of the business, it was a small business, and they had some software installed, MYOB, pretty generic for a small business, and I'd come in and had spent weeks and months learning MYOB, this software package, and trying to work out what had been done in the, in the system that was causing our accounts to be all out of whack. And I struggled for this for so long because I had other tasks to do during the day, such as managing the team. It was a team of mortgage brokers and assistants. Um, I had to you know, order the supplies for the business. I had to organize a trade show. I had all of this other stuff. I need to deal with the client experience, make sure they were getting the right experience. I had all these other things to do as part of my regular day that by the time five or six o'clock came, I could only then focus on this job and this task of trying to sort out what was going on with the software package. And I struggled with this for so long that it kept me awake at night. And when I did finally get to sleep, it woke me up with bad dreams and nightmares about what was actually going on. Um, I felt incompetent for so long. I took up smoking again after two and a half years, not great. Um, I don't any longer smoke because I've learned to deal with things like that. Um, and uh, migraines came back. Migraines came back for me more powerful than ever before. And I really lost my life because I was working excessively in this job, thinking I was not doing enough to learn the system, that I wasn't understanding something, that I wasn't intelligent enough, I wasn't capable enough. And all the while, I then realized after a conversation with the owner of the business that I should just contact the accountants and they would have some insight and sort it out for me. All the while, I didn't know that the software package hadn't actually been installed properly. So this caused me a whole lot of personal stress, a whole lot of distress and I fell into chronic pain and illness as a result. And what this highlights for me is that sometimes we keep doing, 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 we keep plugging away at things, thinking that it's us, thinking that we're incompetent or thinking that we don't have any support and that if we speak up, we won't be supported, that we don't have that acknowledgement from the people around us. 
And I really like to share with my clients a different strategy and a different mindset around why you do what you do and how it is that you can elevate your influence um, by really stepping up how you relate to people and what you're going to do differently so that you don't fall into this pattern of chronic distress and chronic illness. So I just wanted to share that because I think it's a pertinent time for women in corporate who are doing, 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 and perhaps feeling out of control, perhaps feeling like they don't have the answers, and perhaps feeling like there's no one else for them to ask. And so just be conscious of the fact that you, at times you may be operating in a state of eustress, which is perfectly healthy and okay for short, sharp bursts of time, but you may also be operating from a place of distress, which is not healthy. And although you may think you're coping on the outside, over time it's wearing your body and mind down, and that is the healthiest place from which you can possibly make decisions, interact with people you care about, people that you love, and also um, move through your day-to-day -day getting things done. It's the point where you start to find that you've made mistakes along the way that are probably um, probably could have been avoided with a clearer mind. So that's me. I help mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted women find clarity, laser focus, and elevate their influence. Thank you. See you again soon.